Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here. Ooh. <laughs> and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. Today I wanted to show off my front garden a little bit. Um, I have a video where I showed me digging in these echinacea and I wanted to give you a little update because things are looking absolutely gorgeous in my front garden. Approximately a year ago, maybe a little bit more than that, I planted a bunch of echinacea and some other things in my front garden. This at some point, well, when I first moved in, was all grass. And I have put in this entire garden bed. And this year is the first year where it's finally looking really gorgeous and full. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough and show it off to you. It's looking stunning. And I must say, I didn't want to show it off for quite some time because it didn't look good. You know what I mean? It was just like not the greatest, but I can finally kind of be happy about it, which is really fun. Right here, oh, and there comes the sun. Ah, hello, sir. Oh, it's really hot right now, so I'm very mad at the sun. <laughs> so we've got all these gorgeous echinaceas right here. I have like four or five different um, varieties that I absolutely love. Plus my beautiful Japanese maple. He is a little sad right now. I did notice some damage on the leaves. We had an extremely hot and humid week, but overall he's doing quite beautifully. Um, but yeah, we've got some sedums around here. There's actually an echinacea back in here that I think I'm, that I think I'm going to move because he's already getting, there he is. Hello, sir. He's already getting overshadowed and he's getting eating, he's getting eaten a little bit too. So I think this guy needs to move because he is just doing his thing. We have some beautiful sedums as well as some dianthus, which already flowered. But yeah, as we move over here, we've got basically the stars of this show, which are all these beautiful echinacea, which I absolutely adore. They're starting to look a little rough. There's some new growth in here, but they definitely, sir, they definitely just passed their prime. So they're starting to kind of be a little sadder looking, but there's been some beautiful butterflies and bees and things all over the echinacea, which is really, really cool. Right here, we have a beautiful bush, which I am weirdly forgetting the name of, but I have so many of them. It'll come to me. This guy's beautiful. He's putting out new flowers as well. Big bee attractor. Some more sedum. Oh, look, there's some, yep, buggos all over here. And look, guys. These hydrangea are flowering for the first time since I put them in. These I actually, this is not a, oh it is, what? The top of this looks so different than the rest. These guys are flowering for the first time. There's actually, weirdly, all the flowers are like back here. I don't know why. They've decided to be on this side of the, the plant. Um, but we've got some coming up. I dug these out of a friend's garden, huge. Um, so hopefully next year, this guy will be the same. I will be cutting him back a little bit constantly to make sure he keeps a good size, but it's literally, oh, bugs, stop it. It's literally been like three years and he's finally flowering again, which is really, really, really exciting. We have some beautiful topiary boxwoods behind me. I'll wait till this car goes by. And also I have my cute little raised planter beds, which definitely needs some tidying up. I have some canna lilies. We have some marigolds in here, um, some elephant ears as well. Um, and some like leftover begonias, which probably shouldn't be in full, full, full sun, but it's here. Um, <laughs> ooh, this marigold actually looks fantastic. This is a slightly different variety 
than that one. Right here we have La Galard Galard Galardra Galardra. It's a plant. <laughs> I am the worst. Like I am the worst garden channel. This plant, I think it's like Galardra or something. I will find it for you. I will find a picture and put it in. I butcher the pronunciation. Pronunciation. These are so cool. I absolutely love this. They have kind of like echinacea. Did they do like a cute little fluffy ball after they've flowered, which is like a beautiful interest. Stupid vine. I swear to God. My friend garden suffers from Um, but these are absolutely stunning. I love them. They were like this big when I put them in two years ago. This guy got a little stunted, but he should be bigger next year. I want this to kind of like fill in this space. Definitely have to tidy some stuff up. I totally should have done that before I shot, <laughs> before we filmed. But these guys look amazing. And I actually have a orange variety over on the other side. So let's go over there too. Woo. We have this beautiful you, which is doing fantastic. Love him. This is basically the center point of the front with some beautiful pines as well. And then my other boxwood. Again, here we have some canna lilies. These are a shorter canna lily with these orange and yellow Galardurio <laughs> at the base. I'm actually growing some from seed for my parents' house and I'm so excited to put them in. I absolutely adore them. So that's been going really well. Some more marigolds and some more beautiful annual flowers in here. Here's the other hydrangea. He's almost got, he's, oh my God, he's got one flower way back here. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to do that. We've got this beautiful kind of like weeping pine evergreen. These grasses, which I freaking hate. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to take out. Um, they're cool, but I don't like them because I have vines in here that try to like suffocate some plants. Anything that's really floppy in general doesn't do well. Um, and they definitely take advantage of that. These are really hard to clean and get the vines off. So. I'm going to take these out, give them to my parents. Apparently they're really good wetland grass and I'm gonna put them around their natural pond, which is exciting. Here are some beautiful daylilies that are almost fizzled out. There's a few more. I actually cut a lot of stalks back recently with a beautiful lily, lily, lilac behind the lilies. Um, and these guys have just taken off. They love it here. Over here, we have another beautiful planter, which I actually put some cauliflower in. Yo, and aphids are all over these. Ah, but, oh my God, but he's in there. You have to get a close up of this in a minute. There is cauliflower in here. He is growing. But they've gotten eaten. I don't like come out here a lot and take a look and got some beautiful, more tropicals. Speria, that's it. So I've got, four, <laughs> I've got four more Speria here. Slightly different variety. I actually got these at Lowe's very, very end of last year for like five bucks. And I bought four of them and they are all doing well. They all made it. They were very rough when I bought them. I had to deadhead them a lot, but they all made it, which is fabulous. And hopefully they'll grow and just make this area nice and full. And again, bees love these guys. And if you trim them back in the spring, you get a second flowering in the fall. Love that. And they turn a beautiful red as well. Ooh, so excited. We have some more pines and some more boxwoods. And then again, over here, another beautiful, this is like a dwarf lilac and two more of these grasses, which I despise. So <laughs> they will also be taken out. I honestly would really like some more color here. So I might put more echinacea. Honestly, echinacea is such a beautiful flower and it does so well. And this side gets a lot of sun. Um, so I might switch these out. 
And last but not least, I do want to show you this whole wall really quickly because I have um, been doing my best. Last but not least, I want to show you this wall really quickly because my whole property has like a giant fence around it, right? For privacy, so I can bikini garden, so I can do whatever I want inside my own yard without prying eyes. And um, this has been a little bit rough because like there's a lot of wood, right? And um, I got some beautiful vines and they have taken off. They look so great. I absolutely love them. They're filling in. There's one per fence panel. And at the base, where there's this little lip here, I've planted bungle, which is also taking off. This was the first corner I did, and I've been like slowly filling in everything. So it's almost there. There are some rough patches still. Um, hopefully by next year, this whole area is filled in. I put this black lining in to help all the erosion from the soil while the bungle is filling in. And bungle is actually a really great plant for erosion and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is the side of the house. Right behind here is where I do a lot of my veggie gardening. So yeah, and I can't wait to see the colors of this vine in the fall because it should be like a beautiful bright red. Yay! Last but not least, I have some mulch to put down on the other side of the garden. So we're gonna cut to that and I'll be right back. Okay, so this part of the garden is still a work in progress. We have some Solomon seal, which is absolutely gorgeous. I might dig some up next year. We have our weeping pine. Um, we have some sedum, which I'm trying to like be close to the fence because there's already like bees and bugs and things all over the sedum. It's just starting to open up. Um, we have some salvia, we have some yarrow in here. And basically, I just needed to finish this corner, put some um, landscape fabric down. There's still some grass I need to weed out and stuff. It's definitely like a problem area of my garden. And again, because I kind of stay inside my fence a lot, I don't look at this as much as I should. Um, <laughs> but it's looking really, really good. Um, there's some plants back here behind the sedum that are brand new. Um, the yarrow, for example but they should hopefully be like this big and be bigger than the sedum so it, you know, trellises down. But yeah, that's it for today's video. These guys need a trim. 
everything over here needs help, but it looks pretty awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know what you're growing. Tropical, annual wise. Uh, this is definitely the area which I put more of those because so much sun is in my fur garden. There are some bumblebees all over the sedums. I see like four. Jeez, oh my goodness. But yeah, anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.